How's it going guys? My name is AK, back again with another YouTube video and in today's video I'll be asking the question, are the HyperX Cloud 2s a good gaming headset to buy in 2021? So I'll be answering a whole load of questions from mic quality, sound quality, uh, just general um, ease of use of the headset and uh, sort of comparing them to the only other headset really that I've used which is the Astro A40s. Uh, I've had these for oh God, a very long time and uh, finally this year I decided it's time uh, time for a new headset and I chose the HyperX Cloud 2s and essentially today's video is going to be a review saying what I like about them, uh, what I uh, dislike about them, there's a few little bits but uh, it's certainly not too much uh, and then comparing them to the Astro A40s. So with that said and done, let's jump straight into it. Now the first thing I want to talk about is mic quality and uh, I thought the best way to demonstrate this is by recording this entire video uh, with just the uh, the HyperX Cloud 2 mic, uh, as you can see, the one I'm using here. And this is all of the audio from this video is being recorded with this mic. Now sometimes my other YouTube videos I uh, throw uh, a few effects on it, there's a little program called Voice Meter, you can change a few of the settings. Uh, but this is just going to be straight uh, raw recording of the mic, so uh, essentially use this to judge uh, whether you like the sound of it. I personally think it sounds really good and uh, it certainly saves me a lot of effort over having to do a whole lot of uh, audio configuration with my blue snowball uh, the mic that uh, I used to use for my YouTube videos but now I have to admit I pretty much uh, only use this I still use voice meter just to change a few little bits sometimes um, but yeah I find this is a lot more convenient a lot easier to use and just works a lot better really than the blue snowball which is why if you are subscribed and have watched uh, a few of my recent videos you might notice that the audio actually sounds very similar to this because I am in fact using this mic to record most of my videos now now another good feature of these headsets is the fact that they are compatible with so many platforms. They are compatible with PC, Xbox, PS, mobile, everything. So uh, having that is definitely a, definitely a good benefit of having the headset. Some, uh, especially Astros I know, are just PS4 compatible or Xbox and PC compatible. So having one that's compatible for everything uh, is certainly very helpful. Now onto the probably most important thing with a headset, what is the sound quality like? Now, from what I found, the sound quality is certainly on par with the Astro A40s, and bearing in mind you pay uh, over double the price for the Astro A40s, I think that is, uh, that's that's very good for the HyperXs, or maybe not so good for the Astros. Uh, but yeah, the sound quality is great. Now there is a, a 7.1 surround sound option on the, uh, on the little module that you can change. That actually looks like this, and as you can see, there's a button in the middle that you can press it to activate uh, surround sound. When I play, I actually play with that off. I don't play with the surround sound, although I do know some other competitive players that I play with, uh, competitive Call of Duty this is, for those of you that don't follow my channel, uh, that actually have that turned on. So the people that I know that play with it on uh, do so because they say it gives better footstep awareness. You can hear if people are behind you, to the side of you, really get a good sort of sense of direction, almost in a, almost in 3D. Although from what I've found is I play with it off uh, just because it most closely matches the settings that I used to play with on my Astros. And uh, honestly, I've had no problem with uh, being able to detect people with footsteps. You still get that good spatial awareness even when it's not turned on. But that is something that you're going to have to just try for yourself if you do buy it. Give it a go, see what you think. So overall sound quality is really good for the headset and uh, yeah, I have no complaints there. Now the next thing I'm going to talk about is the comfort of the headset because uh, that is a very important thing, especially if you're, a, if you're a competitive player or someone that does play uh, many hours a day, you need something that's going to be comfortable on your head and uh, that's something I found with the HyperX is they're actually quite a light headset or certainly compared to the Astros, they're quite a heavy headset, quite a lot bigger and bulkier so having the lightweight uh, is, uh, is certainly a benefit, it's a lot more comfy for longer hours. Also, the headset comes with uh, two options. You've got the leather ear cups I currently have in, and then also uh, some like foam style ear cups as well. Uh, I play with the leather ones for the better noise cancellation, but uh, that's a topic that I'll get onto in a bit. But overall, the headset's very comfortable. I've played for eight, ten hours at a time. I, I wear them around the house pretty much all of the day as well. And honestly, I can say I've had no problems. So comfort is, uh, is definitely a thumbs up for these. Now, I did mention noise cancellation, and this is probably uh, one of the, not the downsides, but this is one of the bits where the headset is slightly uh, slightly worse compared to the Astro A40s, uh, although I might have a reason for this. So, uh, I'd, I'd say the noise cancellation is good. It's not it's not amazing, but it's good um, if, you, uh, if you're in a sort of isolated room. If you're in the middle of, uh, like, your, your front room and there's noises going everywhere, maybe not the best, um, but yeah, certainly for someone, if you're in your room, uh, in a room by yourself, or somewhere where there isn't too much background noise, um, it's certainly not a problem. I would say it's probably on par with the Astro A40s if I hadn't have bought the tournament mod kit because uh, as you can see I have the tournament mod kit, the leather ear cups and uh, essentially the noise cancellation that that provides is a very a very strong noise cancellation, it's very good actually, um, that's one of the main reasons that I, uh, I bought the tournament mod kit just, uh, just for that actually. So when I first moved from that to this, it did sound like I was picking up quite a bit of uh, my computer background noise and uh, just background noise around the house, although uh, come come to play with it for a month or two and honestly I don't notice that anymore. 
So yeah, maybe if you're coming from a headset that has amazing noise cancellation, that might seem like a bit of a step down, but certainly uh, for anyone that has played with any sort of normal headset without uh, amazing noise cancellation, you're not going to notice any problem at all. Now, the last point I want to bring on to is price, and uh, and this is where this headset uh, actually really does uh, quite well. It's currently priced at uh, just a bit over £60 on Amazon, and uh, yeah, I mean, compared to the Astro 40s that I've had uh, previously, they uh, they start at well, around 150 minimum if you want to buy the mod kits and the tournament things. Uh, you're probably paying upwards of 200, uh, 200 quid for that headset, so certainly from a price point of view, these are absolutely amazing. Now, even better so for me, I want to thank my girlfriend. She bought these, uh, this headset for me for Christmas, so I can't, actually, uh, I can't actually say that I even paid for this, so I guess that makes it even cheaper. Now, the only problem that I've actually encountered with the headset, there's only one, very small, uh, but it's that the initial connection uh, for the headset to the uh, PC or any console that you're playing is a USB connection, uh, but as you can see, let me just uh, bring the little uh, control module thing over again, uh, it actually has a 3.5mm jack that plugs into this, meaning you can detach this and plug that thing into your phone and anything that takes a 3.5mm jack. But the annoying thing is, though, certainly that I've found it's uh, slightly inconvenient, is that the cable running from the headset to the 3.5mm jack, that cable is actually quite short. So if you want to have your phone uh, and you're sort of leaving your phone somewhere and want to lean over, sometimes that cable uh, making that quite short is, uh, is quite annoying. So this combined with the fact that the actual uh, cable is stuck into the headset, you can't unplug that and maybe swap it out for a longer cable like you can with the Astros, you can see. You can unplug this cable and swap out for a longer one, whereas you can't actually do that with this headset, so you are stuck with that rather short uh, um, 3.5mm jack cable. But that's not too much of an issue, and uh, yeah, you quickly get used to that. So, in my opinion, is the HyperX Cloud 2 a good headset to buy in 2021? I'd have to say it absolutely is. It's got great sound quality, a really good mic, and it's just overall very comfortable and really makes me question actually why I go out and uh, or why some people go out and buy very expensive headsets when uh, there's such good things on the market like this for a lot less. Now, the only thing that I, uh, I can't actually have tested in this video is the durability and, uh, and how well the headset actually holds up over time. I had my Astros for, well... Uh, probably going on five years and uh, at the end uh, although I did buy some mod kits and all that the sound still worked the, the mic did break uh, after a couple of years but the sound still worked and so uh, yeah they uh, they lasted quite a while whereas this headset I've only had for uh, not even a month yet so um, I can't actually give an opinion on uh, how sort of durable the thing is but I'm sure uh, from what I've seen so far it's pretty good so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video if you did be sure to drop a like and I'll see you in the next one have a good one